In this video, I'm going to talk about 15 mistakes that you should avoid at all costs. The first mistake that costed me around $80,000 is revenge trading. We all know the story of GameStop. It made crazy moves in under one week. So I started a short position when it was $25 and in under a day, it went to $50. So my position size was $30,000 with 100% loss. I lost 30K in under a day. After a few days, GameStop went to $80. I said that this is the top, I'm going to short. So I shorted again with $30,000 and we all know what happened. It squeezed back to 160 and I lost another $30,000. So once you start to have the feeling that you need to cover your initial loss with the same trade, it's, you have a really high chance to lose. So the first mistake, don't revenge trade. The second mistake that you should understand very well is that consistency is key. If you gamble on a trade and if you lose 50% on your account, to cover that loss, you need to make back 100% to cover that initial loss. Why? Because imagine you have a 100k account, you lost 50%, which is $50,000. So your account went from 100k to $50,000. If you want to cover back that loss, you need to make 100%. So big losses can ruin your portfolio. Avoid that at all costs. Instead, focus on consistent strategies and you'll see the power of compound interest. The third mistake, if a trade is not within your strategy, don't trade, wait for the perfect setup. Because if it's not within your strategy, you won't feel comfortable in that trade and you'll make mistakes. The fourth mistake applies on swing trading. You should not cut losses on red days. If the market is red and you have a good swing portfolio, like good companies like Apple, Microsoft, this kind of stocks, you should never cut losses. Instead, you should buy more because if you won't buy on red days, those companies, when you'll buy, when they are up. So trust me and don't do this mistake. Red days are better buying opportunities. The fifth mistake, and this is for new traders. If you're thinking that you'll be rich overnight, just close your brokerage account and do something else because trading, it's not a get rich quick scheme. If you have a consistent strategy, you'll be rich over long term. In short term, you have a chance to get rich overnight, but you're, you're probably risking all your portfolio. The sixth mistake, when you get in into a trade, the market does a totally different move than what you expect. If you're long, the stock goes down. If you're short, the stock goes up. So having a strategy is key. The stock really don't care if you're long or short. This is a game of probability and risk management. If you master those two skills, you're, you're going to win in the market. If not, you're going to lose. The seventh mistake. If you're too emotional on a trade, that means you're over-risking. Don't over-risk on any trade. The eighth mistake. If you're day trading, it's really important to cut losses because if you don't cut losses, you'll get into huge losses. I had a really consistent strategy in day trading and I was making good profits. But two mistakes costed me around $80,000. One trade example was on GME that I explained earlier and the second one was on Ruby. I did not cut my losses and I was in a short position and the stock went 100% up in under 30 minutes. So that costed me around $30,000 and GameStop costed me around $50,000. So that's 80K loss on two stocks. With those losses, I could go buy an AMG GT. The ninth mistake, trading stocks with no volume. This is a mistake that sometimes can cost you because stocks with no volume, if an investor has a good amount of shares and if he decides to sell, the stock can drop dramatically. So try to avoid stocks with no volume. The tenth mistake, if you let your emotions control over you, you'll probably lose. Here's an example. If you remember, my fourth mistake was never cutting losses on red days. Few months ago, 
the market dropped and instead of buying more, I just did cut losses because I was emotional. I was afraid to lose more. And I got out from the trades with a loss. And the next few days you see the market bounced back. The 11th mistake. If you're swing trading, do your analysis on the chart, get into the position, set your stop loss or profit taking orders and don't watch the charts. Because once you start watching the charts, you will probably get out of the trade early or do some mistakes. So, so just do your analysis, get into the trade, set your exit orders and just leave it. Don't watch the charts. The 12th mistake, following people online with no proven strategies. Especially those guys who are flashing their Lamborghinis or Ferraris. Those guys are big no's. I actually checked a strategy from one of those guys, I don't want to call out any name, and backtested his strategy, and the strategy turned out to be a big loser. And this is the backtest of the strategy. You can clearly see, over the long term, you lose money. Don't follow those guys. You can follow people online who show a backtest of their strategy, and their strategy is proven to be profitable. And that can apply more in swing trading, because day trading, most of people online are scams. Try to avoid those people. The 13th mistake. Try to expect the worst on each trade. So if you get into trade, let's say Apple is currently around $130, I got into the trade. What's the worst case scenario? The market can crash and Apple can go to $100. It always expect the worst. So once it does that move, you won't feel that emotional and you, you don't do some bad decisions. The 14th mistake, FOMO, fear of missing out. When you start to have this feeling and you get into the trade, the trade will go against you. Why? Let's say a penny stock is already up 100% and you start to have the feeling that you're missing out on this trade. You get in, the stock drops. If you have the FOMO, that means the stock or any kind of thing it already did his move so if you're late you're late simply don't get into the trade this will lead into the last mistake for the day which is buying the news when the stock price is already up a lot most people they buy the rumor they sell the news so if you're buying the news and if you're a trader you're not an investor you have a really high chance to lose i actually backtested the strategy I short only stocks that have that had news and they went up. The strategy turned out to be profitable. Yes, of course you'll have some trades that the news is really impactful on the stock and it can really go. But most of the time when the stock is already up on news, it has a really high chance to drop. So try to avoid stocks that are already up and with with good news. Most of them they will sell the news and the stock will drop. And this applies especially on penny stocks. And again, as said, there will be some stocks that the news can be really impactful and the stock can really go up. It's a matter of probability. So trading is a game of probability. If you know how to manage your risk reward ratio and how to manage your money, you're going to be a winner. If not, you lose. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.